carefully peeling the adhesive from the back of the disc. Center the disc over the backing plate. Press the disc firmly onto the plate, making sure there are no air bubbles or creases. Using a utility knife or X-Acto blade, carefully cut a hole in the center of the assembled disc that will remove all grinding surface from the center arbor hole in the plate. Washers from the arbor. Second, place the disc on the arbor, placing the washers and arbor screws back onto the arbor and snug down tightly. Align and place the water guard over the top of the disc. Attach the coolant reservoir to the top. Note, if the plastic tube is not the right length, use a pair of scissors to trim it so that the tip of it drips water onto the centermost area of the disc. Place the coolant receptacle under the drain spout on the right side of the machine and on the corners of the water guard to raise, lower, and level the water guard if necessary. The water guard should rest just slightly above the level of the grinding disc surface. Note, these screws are pre-adjusted at the factory. Press down gently on one side of the disc until it lifts on the other so that you can easily remove it. Align the new disc over the arbor, seat it down firmly, and then snug and tighten the arbor screw back onto the arbor. If necessary, adjust the height of the water guard using the four screws. Another item is check the coolant receptacle often so it doesn't overflow and make a mess. Be sure to clean your machine thoroughly with a damp towel after each use. And empty and dry out the reservoirs below the water guard. 